To like finally hear like a whole audience laughing and laughing. If I get recognized, it's just because I'm awesome. I speak out for what I believe in regardless of if it's popular or not. You just can't get any better than that. Love making films. Yes, I, I really love making films. I think filmmaking is, it's about like really showing your individuality. Think of ideas. It's a hard process. Teens across the country are taking a stand for what they believe in for who they are and for the stories they want to tell. They inspire me and they enchant me every day. But most importantly, they're making us laugh, cry, feel, and think with their films. I think that speaks very well for the future. Today we're showcasing some very special films and the masterminds behind them in Student Voices Teen Filmmakers. Action. So, not everyone who gets high is going to get all out of control and end up here. I get that. But do you think you can go like a day without weed or X or whatever? How about a whole weekend? You sure you're in control? We're like average kids. We do average things. And drinking at 17, 18, 19 years old is something average kids do. One time when I went to a mini rave, there was ecstasy right in front of me. These students are speaking out about teen addiction. I mean, there's a group of people within my friends that do do drugs, but they accept that I'm the person they go out with and there are no drugs involved. Many teens think it's okay to do drugs, drink, and have easy access, but it's a risky road with dangerous consequences. I stopped going to school. I started stealing from my family. Can tougher laws make a difference? and what can be done by teens to create awareness. Plus, a compelling look at the devastating effects of drug abuse through the eyes of two recovering addicts. Valerie was homeless and a heroin addict at 15, and Joshua was addicted to and sold meth. You don't really think about what you're doing until you get caught, and then you realize what you're doing. Or you don't realize what you're doing until someone dies. The worst part was waking up every day and knowing I have to be high today, I have to do this again just to get, get by, just to survive today. And later, we'll shine our student spotlight on the Crazy James Band, a group of teens making music and a difference on their road to recovery from drug and alcohol abuse. At issue, teen addiction, today on Student Voices. The World Wide Web, it's an ever-evolving universe of lightning-fast communication. For students, it's a powerful tool for research and for socializing. But the internet can also be used as a weapon. You're such a loser. You're worth you should just everybody kill yourself. You're such a You're gay, gay, gay. Words have become bullets, and they're wounding teens all over the country and around the world. In Pennsylvania, a teen is so horribly harassed online, he moves to Colorado to escape the abuse. That really tore me apart, having to leave my hometown for reasons I wasn't really sure of at the time, for something I didn't feel like I deserved. In Virginia, a popular 17-year-old girl is forced to go to another school after being bullied during her re-election as class president. It just killed me because I had never heard of anyone not liking me. So to hear these hurtful things at such you know an intensity was just blew my mind. In Vermont, a 13-year-old boy is pushed so far by cyber bullies that he takes his own life. You can't know the terror. You can't know. And all I kept saying to Brian was, why, why, why? I, I didn't understand why. And several continents away, an Australian teen decides to fight back and take action after being severely harassed online. You gotta understand the internet is a lawless country. There's no police, no government, and it's controlled by the users, which a lot of the time are kids. These teens are not alone. An estimated one in three students is being victimized online. That's why policymakers are committed to making a difference. This abuse is no different than physical abuse in the real world. This is psychological abuse. We need to know about it so that we can react to it. At issue, cyberbullying. 
today on Student Voices. Hi, I'm Brian Harper. Throughout today's show, we're counting down to your number one choice for the best radio DJ in town. Your number three pick is a woman who spent her career on both the AM and the FM side of the dial. Gloria Neal of Sassy 107.1 FM has carved out a niche on the Denver radio dial by doing just one thing, being herself. This isn't an act. It's too early in the morning to get up and pretend like I'm somebody else. It is me. I'm, everybody else is taken, so I'm me. Um, and even people say, well, now, is that, your, is that your real name? I'm thinking, it is 5 o'clock in the morning. There's no way I can remember a fake name and say all the other stuff I need to say. Sassy 107.1 FM, Michael McDonald. I keep forgetting. I told you I met him about two years ago. Mm -hmm. And um, since I'm a short person, I can say this. Honey, that man is related to Frodo. Okay? <laughs> he is a little itty-bitty stuff. <laughs> His life revolves around making music and making guitars for the stars. But Scott Baxendale spent a lifetime chasing dreams and running from nightmares. The incredible life story of Bad Bax then led him on another quest in search of Johnny Depp. In a candid interview, Scott talks about the heights and depths of his amazing life. Just the drugs were way too powerful for me at the, you know, I had already spent a half a million dollars on cocaine over the previous two years and I was struggling to try and get away from it, but then all this craziness happened and I just went with it. Here are some important tips to remember. Let's begin with a few essential facts every teen should know. The internet is forever. What you post online can be retrieved even after you've deleted it. It will never completely go away. You are not anonymous. The internet is a public forum. Everything can be viewed by others and identified by your ISP. Be aware, you don't always know who you're talking to. Always think before you post anything online. Be sure to protect your name, identity, and reputation. A recent study found that 79% of teens say cyberbullying is a problem. So here are some tips on how you can help stop cyberbullying and how you should report it. Never respond to a flame or online harassment. Bullies often harass others to spark a reaction that fuels further harassment. Flames deal with temperature, with heat, with the heat of conversation, with argument. 